Hi. I'd like to start each practice with that breath that we learned in the first lesson. So let's just take a breath together. It's really that simple to bring ourselves to presence, to be here right now and not off doing anything else. Today, we're going to talk about triggers. Now, triggers have a lot of different meanings to people, but I can certainly tell you that I have a lot of triggers. And part of the reason that we want to learn about triggers is because as we understand what our triggers are, we can respond to them more thoughtfully and more skillfully. And maybe we can be a little less reactive and be a little more responsive. So a few examples of triggers. There's those people that cut you off in traffic. There's that one lady who has to write a check from an actual checkbook in the grocery line. But there's lots of other things too. Maybe it's simply your husband doesn't pick his socks up. Those kind of things are triggers as well. Some things are more minor, some things are more major. Maybe it's criticism at work. Maybe it's being shut down in the conference call every time you start to speak. Sometimes these things have a lot of baggage with them. For example, perhaps you're like me and your desk is always messy. My desk is always a mess. It's one of those things that if someone criticizes me about it, I tend to get pretty reactive about it because it's my desk. I know it's a mess. And honestly, it's that I feel bad about it being a mess, but I'm not really going to do anything about it. So it's a trigger upon a trigger. It's something that I feel a little guilty about. So what I would like you to do is get a piece of paper and I would like you to write down two or three things that you know are your triggers. And over the next 24 hours until we have our next conversation, I'd like you to just make a mental note of every time you're triggered by something. This simple noticing when we're triggered can be very impactful. It may seem like a small thing, but as you notice more and more often how you're triggered, when you're triggered, and what triggers you, the more you're going to be able to respond skillfully to that. And we're going to go over that tomorrow, some ways that we can talk about how do we respond to triggers, what can we do when we're triggered, and really are we always going to be triggered about something? The answer to that one's probably yes. But we can be a lot more careful with how we respond when we are triggered.